Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75049, the Snow Speeder. The set came out in the year 2014, comes with 279 pieces and retailed for $30. So yeah, let's take a closer look at it. So here is a first look at all the things that are included in this set. As you can see, there are three minifigures, and there's a Snow Speeder and a little cannon at the side. I think it's supposed to be an ion cannon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's something they used on Hawk, the Snow Troopers did, to kind of fight the rebels, but... Yeah, let's take a look at the play features on this set. There are a lot of them. Starting off with minifigure play features, you can put your two rebel troopers, or really one of them is Luke Skywalker, and one of them I think is Dak from, it was like his co-pilot in the movie. You can put both of them in the snow speeder, and you just open this up. It kind of has like a double jointed system here, like you can lift this up. It doesn't work very well though, because the connection is kind of bad, but you can, you're supposed to lift this up, and then you're supposed to lift this up as well. Which is kind of weird. I don't think LEGO did a very good job with this. It might just be be because it's old, but it doesn't work very well at all. This piece is very loose. But anyway, once you open it, you can stick your two pilots inside. The way you slide them in is there's this piece that holds their legs, and you just slide them in like this. And then they kind of stay in there, and you can lean them back, and you can stick their arms in these, like, uh, I don't, I forget what this piece is called, but it makes like a, it's like half of a normal piece, and it lets their arms kind of sit in there without them kind of impeding on the windshield, so it works pretty well. And I'd say I like this cockpit design, except for this function of the windshield. It doesn't work very well. Like you see, it just breaks all the time. So that's kind of a big downside of the set, but I feel like the cockpit is really nicely designed. You can also stick a weapon in the between both of them. Kind of hard to do it while they're in there. I'll move them out, and then you stick it in there. So yeah, there's some storage, but I think the cockpit is pretty nicely designed, except for the mechanism for opening it. I feel like that could have been done a bit better. A super cool slash annoying play feature the set included. It depends on your view on string in Lego sets. I think it's kind of annoying because you have to tie it and I'm not the best at tying. But the end result is kind of cool. You can launch this tow cable and kind of wind it around an AT-AT if you have one, which I actually do and I would like to include this in my mock of it wrapping around. In my mock right now, it's just kind of flying off to the side. But I think this is super cool how they added this. They didn't have to. And I think what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to launch it while it's kind of extended like this. So then it kind of fires with the tow cable. It's a pretty nice inclusion. i just not a big fan of string, but when you're all done tying it, it does work very well. You can also move these air vent flaps up and down. I think that's what they are. So if you want this clean look, you can do that. These might actually be brake flaps, but yeah, you can have them open like that to expose like some of the engines, I think. Don't really know what they are, but it is kind of nice that you can have two different looks of it if you want. I kind of prefer the ones open because I feel like that's a more accurate look, I think. And I kind of do like the sticker underneath. Finally, the set does have flick fire missiles. You just kind of flick them, I think, this way. Yeah, and they fire off. Pretty nicely integrated, to be honest. They're like using this building technique where they're stuck to the bottom, which I think is super nice. They don't really get in the way. And you don't really see them either. Like that just fires out from beneath there. It's a pretty nice system. I really do like how Lego did that instead of just sticking them up here where there'd be kind of ugly. Now, time to talk about minifigures. First up here, we have Luke Skywalker, and he is in his sort of like orange jumpsuit outfit, kind of the snowspeeder outfit, and I guess X-Wing pilot outfit. I think it looks pretty good. I remember when I first got the set, I was super excited to finally have a Luke Skywalker, and he has a lot of nice details. I kind of like his um, leg printing. They have like the printing on the, I don't know what this piece is called, but connects the legs to the body. And then he doesn't have any arm printing. I think this was before that. He has nice back printing. And his helmet is really nicely printed for the time. He also has a double-sided face of being happy. That's always good. And also something cool about this double-sided face is that this face, he has his goggles pulled down, and on this one, they are up. So that's kind of a nice detail. You can have both of them. Next up, we have Dak Ralter, which is Luke's co-pilot in the snow speeder. And in the movie, he got blown up and then stomped on by an at, -AT. So he does not have the best fate. And I kind of think LEGO did a good job with this minifigure here. His helmet printing is less detailed than Luke's, but I think that's actually accurate because Luke is like a commander or something, so it makes sense why his would have more detail. I think he has the same torso printing and leg printing, but it's very nice. He does have a different face, though, which is pretty cool. This is him smiling and him scared. That's probably when he got blown up. He was really scared. But yeah, I think LEGO did a good job with the details on here, even though he is this basically the same as Luke Skywalker. Next up, we have a snow trooper, which is just a normal snow trooper. I think he's the same that is included in the AT-80, -AT, which is another set I reviewed. And I think he is exactly the same. He has a waist cape that is cloth, which is very nice. 
sure a lot of people will like that. He has a nice backpack print. I don't really know what this is, but it looks pretty detailed, so good job for LEGO. And he is pretty detailed on the front as well. He has this nice new cowl piece, or new for the time. Really advanced for 2014, to be honest. This is a nice piece. And underneath that, we have the... Underneath that, we have the Angry Gur face. Shout out to Brickinator for coining that phrase. I watched his video and I thought it was super funny that he called it the Angry Gur face. So that is what this face is called from now on, the Angry Gur face. And I think that fits well. They could have done a just a normal dark head like the black ones. I think that would have fit just as well. But nice, we have some sort of expression at least on this trooper. Finally, for minifigure type things, or really this should go in play features, we have the E-Web Blaster. I think that's what this is called. It's either an Ion Cannon or an E-Web Blaster. Some sort of cannon. I Please don't get mad at me if I called it something that it isn't, but yeah. I think it looks pretty good. It's actually a really nice build. You can have your snow trooper here kind of hang on to it. Yeah, so when he hangs on to it, it actually looks like he's firing it. I think it's super nice. I like this cord piece, although when I was younger... I used to chew on pieces like that. Don't look at me weird. I was like five, probably younger than that. But yeah, I used to chew on this sort of thing. But I still think it fits really nicely in this set. I really like the antenna pieces on the bottom that make it look like it's being supported by those, even though it has this piece on the bottom. I just think it's a really nice design. Now time to look at stickers and prints. Starting off, there is one print on the minifigures that isn't really like a torso or anything. And that is the backpack piece of the snow trooper which I think is a nice print. It's a one by one print and it's not a sticker, which is really good. Imagine if that was a sticker, that'd be really annoying. But yeah, that's the one, I think my, that might be the only print in the entire set. We'll see. I think this might be printed the cockpit piece, but taking a look at the snow speeder, there are a bunch of stickers on here. There's a sticker here for this front piece. There's a sticker right here for some extra detailing. These are both stickers, the engine pieces. This is a print, which is very nice. That'd be a nightmare if this was a sticker because it's a clear sticker and those are always awful. Inside of here, we have a sticker for, I think, the cannon that Dak fires. It's kind of hard to get this to focus, but interesting sticker. And then on the front, there is another control panel piece. I think that might be exclusive. I don't know. There's a lot of Lego control panel pieces, but yeah, I think that might be all the stickers and prints on the set. Actually, never mind. These are stickers as well. There are a lot of stickers on the set to add extra detailing, but... I gotta say, none of them were really annoying. I just kind of messed up some of them because I was young, so I feel like there isn't too many bad stickers. Oh yeah, these are also stickers too. This is probably the worst sticker application in the set, if I remember correctly, because really a weird piece to have a sticker on. And it's on the other side as well. All right, now time to talk value for money. So when the set retailed in 2014, or when it came out, it retailed for $30 and came with 279 pieces. So that's an okay price per piece. I think that might be like 11 cents per piece. There are some bigger pieces in this set, and price per piece is certainly not everything. You also do get three minifigures in this set, and what I kind of think about with LEGO is if you get one minifigure for every $10, that's usually pretty good, and I feel like you do get that with this set. And the minifigures are pretty detailed, even though like the Snow Trooper is not exclusive, and Luke Skywalker and Dak Ralters are basically the exact same figure. I still feel like you're getting some pretty good minifigures, and I do think the snow speeder build is very good, so I feel like you are getting value for money. This is definitely not overpriced, although I don't want to know what inflation would do to $30 in 2014. So overall, I feel like the set is a 9 out of 10. The only reason it isn't a 10 out of 10, I actually feel like the set is very good, so that's why I would have given it a 10 out of 10, is I feel like the cockpit opening mechanism is very bad. I mean, for some people, they won't really care about that, but you really have to push down on this white piece to get it to open. It might just be because it's old, but I don't think so, because I always knew I had trouble with that. So yeah, I feel like if you're a displayer, this is probably a really good set for you. Just the one problem there is that some of the minifigures, like the Snow Trooper are not exclusive, and I feel like Dak Ralters and Luke Skywalker are very similar, but I feel like the builds in the set are very good, very detailed, and very nicely designed for the time. Like, the the way the wings kind of connect to the snow speeder, and they have, like, the nice angles on the bottom that kind of make it so it doesn't have a lot of cracks, I think that's very nice and pretty advanced for 2014, in my opinion, so that's why I think it is a 9 out of 10 set. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75049, the snow speeder. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.